Namaste, namaste, ashe, ashe. I'm back, back on track. Continuing to tell y'all about my twin flame journey, okay? Um, spirit, my spirit guide. And just, you know, and my intuition told me that I need to start doing these videos again, okay? Because we have people, you know, that's not believing in a journey. And I was one of those people. And I said, no, 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 it's probably somebody out there like me. I need to talk to them before they wind up deleting their videos like I did. <laughs> oh, all right. So um, we basically summing up from those videos that I had made in 2016. We summing up those from now. I can't, I can't get those back. I can't remember, you know, every video. But the only thing I could do is try to make a long story short to tell you about my journey and let you know that it's real and to not give up. All right. So, um, from the last, okay. Like I was telling you from the last video that I made the decision to stop, you know, contact with him to, for me to stop reaching out. Okay. So let me rewind. Let me rewind back. Okay. Y'all know how I met him. Y'all know the year. Y'all know, you know, how I met him and y'all know, um, how I started you know, doing my research about the twin flame, what made me think he was my twin, you know, like everything came together. So, you know, once I, I knew that, but I knew it, but I, I didn't, I wasn't 100% sure. I still had a little, you know, bit of doubt, which had to go. So I say before New Year's, the Matrix New Year, like after fake Christmas time, okay, I don't celebrate holidays no more. I don't celebrate holidays no more. It's pagan holidays. I'm not a pagan, and it's a lie. Behind Christmas, behind all the holidays, go look, go do your research, go look it up. Okay, so you know, Martin Flame doesn't celebrate that either. No, no, the fuck he don't. Okay, so anyway, I needed a confirmation. Okay, I'm, I'm going to rewind some more back, but I'm going to tell you all this part right here because this was the last, the last of the last that I heard from him. All right, I had sent him a text, and I was like, good night, you know, have a good night, I love you, I miss you, whatever I said. I can't remember. I was like, good night, have a good night, I love you, I miss you, whatever. That was, say if I text him Wednesday night, he texts me. Thursday night, and he said, oh, and I said, you're not, I said, you may not be perfect, but you're perfect for me, because he is, he may not be perfect for you and her, or her, but he's perfect for me, because that's my other half, okay, so he said, he said, uh, he said, what he said, he said, I am Something like that, he said. He said, you're right, I am. Something like, I can't exactly remember. He said, I am. And he said, I love you, baby. Have a good night. Woo! He said, I said, right, because I needed a confirmation. I need another one. I need a recent one, but <laughs> that was the recent, most recent one. But I need, I need another one. All right, I'm just waiting for that. But I mean, I already know, but like, you know, I need to know. Still, like, you know, is he, is he still on it? Okay, so that was a confirmation right there. He, he didn't text me the same night I text him. He texted me the, a diff, the next night. And he told me that, and I was like, wow. Give thanks. Okay, and I reach back out, but you know, he, he in his karmic situation, so I just took that as, you know, a little message, a little, you know, to let me know that he's never gonna, he's gonna always love me, he's never gonna forget about me, he, he didn't forget about me, he's never gonna forget, he, I can't even forget about this, he good yoni, nah, <laughs> alright, he would never forget about my, his queen, okay, so, um, I, you know, I just was like, um, I was so amazed. Like, I was happy. That was not the first 
text that he told me he loved me, you know. But just in a while, you know, to hear that again. I mean, I mean, I hear it. Don't hear me. I hear it. He says it. But writing it is different, okay? He said, I love you. You know, say it to me. But I need, I want to see it so I can keep going back to the message. <laughs> All right? So I even go back to the other one that he said, you know? I, I look at it and I'll be like, wow. Like, you know, he wrote it. Like, I'm six, I remember 2011, so I, Five, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, five years, four, five years waited for I love you, for him to love me. Not literally waited, but you know, just, you know that song? Feels so good loving somebody when somebody loves you back. Yeah, you know, it feels so good when you love somebody and they love you f***ing back. I'm like, what? I, I'm like, I know, because I know I wasn't going hard for nothing. Like, this man got to love me. Like, I was surprised because, like, when I told him I loved him, loved him, the first, very first time I told him, he didn't say it back. It took him a while to say it when I first, first, first told him. All right, this is after some some fight that I had. It's, I've been through mad shit, okay, on this journey. Fight with some fat, stinking heifer that was jealous of me. Because you see that I'm slim and trim, all right? We the same we, we the same height, and um, we both slim. He just a little, probably a little bit thicker than me. Not thicker. Yeah, a little bit, but we both slim. We both, we compliment each other. We When you see us, you're going to be like, what? No. <laughs> probably think we fucking related or something. Brother and sisters, but no, that's my twin. All right, so she was hating. She was jealous, so I got into a fight, whatever. So after that fight, all right, I was just saying everything. Like, I love you, baby. You don't see what's going on. Like, they trying to stop it. Like, all right, and after that fight, he left with me. That's another confirmation. So many confirmations I could give y'all. I'm just letting you know. I'm just giving y'all them, okay, to let y'all know shit is real. That was another confirmation that I got. You know, he could have left with Fatty Boom Boom. But he left with Unique, and he didn't come with Unique. He left with me. And that was, that was fucking awesome, okay? Uh, so, um, I, I, I literally fought for love. Still fighting, but literally, I, I literally fought for love. Okay? And, it's, and I never lie yet. I don't, I don't lie. Anyway, okay? I tell the truth, nothing but the truth. It's true for such you free. Okay, so anyway. You know, so um you know, different situations like that occurred. And I was just like, wow, it had to, you know, it had to happen. But you know, um, they try to stop it like that too. Okay, but um he didn't tell me he loved me that day, that same day. It took him a while to say it. So when I um that actually when did he say it? I went to go see him one time. I did a um pop up. <laughs> I love crazy guys, but that's I love him. That's why I was fucking to play. When I'm in love, I fucking listen up. I don't know what the fuck I might do. Okay, but <laughs> I fucking did a pop up, guys. And I fucking popped up at his crib, okay? And I'm not going to get all the way, I'm not going to get into that. But, you know, that, at make a long story short, he told me he loved me that night. He told me he loved me. I, I said it to him, I said, I love you. And he said it back. And I wasn't expecting him to say it back. I just said it, you know? I wasn't like, oh, I'm going to say I love you so he can say it back. No, I was just saying, I love you. You know, I'm leaving. Like, And he was like, I love you too. And I'm like, what? I'm like... I want to hear it again, right? So I'm like, say it like you mean it. <laughs> like Wendy Williams. Transve transvestite ass. Say it like you mean it. So he said, I love you. Say it again. I love you. Nah. <laughs> I, I just want to hear Like, I want to hear that. Like, I, I knew it. I knew he already loved me. I already knew he was in love with me. You understand? But I need to hear it. I want to hear it. It's, it, it. it sounds like music to my ears. Okay, <laughs> so I'm like, wow, this man freaking loves me now. 
You know that song to that reggae song? He loves me now. Uh, 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 uh. He loves me now. All right. I love music. <laughs> I've always, all right. Anyway, that's how I describe, you know? Okay, so anyway, he, you know, I'm just like, wow, this man fucking loves me. You know, like, who would ever fucking think in a million years this man fucking loves me? You know how bad some females want a man to love them back? And they don't really get it. I haven't gotten it in the past, you know, like that. But did somebody that I really want, somebody that I asked for, I asked for him. He loves me. So that was, the, that was the motherfucking jackpot right there. So as long as he loves me first, okay, and then he can work on everything else after that. As long as I know, he know he loves me. All right, he told me a lot more shit, too, one time. You know, we was only even on FaceTime. And he was just, like, he was just so open to me. He was, like, being his true, authentic self. And that man, that day, that one time, and I got this um, a confirmation the other night when I was listening to a Twin Flame message. They were saying that the Twin Flame probably on your journey one time showed you his true self. Okay, that one time, it didn't, never happened after that, it never occurred after, but that one time, you had a taste of it. Yes, yes, I did. I had a good taste of it, too. We was on FaceTime for two hours. Uh, that was surprising, too. Straight, okay? And I got a taste of that, and I'm just like, what the fuck happened to my twin? Where's he at? Where, where's that man at? Where did he go? Because I need him to come box. He's going to come back. He's going to come back. That FaceTime man that I fucking saw is going to come back. Because right now, you know, he, he just, he's probably, you know, on his 3D ego shit. Okay, right now I could say, right now, right now, in this moment, I can say he has not been on social media ever since last year of November, October. That, that's a while. He has not been on social media, not posting no pictures, not posting no comment, not posting shit. I'm like, what's going on with my baby? I'm like, what is going on with him? Like, I really think he's waking up now. I really, I really, this is how I feel. I don't know exactly, but I feel like he's waking up. I feel like he's doing his research more because, I, you know, I spoke to him about that. He needs to start, stop being on YouTube watching fuckery and start watching videos about twin flame, about enlightenment, about consciousness, about black truth, about us so we could come together. All right. So we could come together and have that unity, you know? So, um, I really feel like he's been doing, it. I feel like he's trying to get out his comic situation. I do feel like he's realizing who I am, you know, and he's realizing what I have said to him. I've been telling him like, you know, we connected. I'm your twin flame. We 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 are twin souls. You know, you gotta get it right. You gotta pay attention. You know, you gotta you gotta you gotta wake up to this connection because I need you and you need me. We need each other. We got a fucking mission to complete. I can't complete this alone. He can't complete it alone. We need fucking each other energy, vibe. We need that love. We need to come together so we can have that real freaking love so we can make the angels and the sky sing so we can make the birds sing so we could okay because when we come together okay not only to make love but when we just come together be around each other i feel like time stops the world stops okay i feel like the the angels is in and is dancing in heaven the same, like they happy that's how i feel and that's and i got a confirmation about they they be doing that too and I feel like that too, you know. And he used to always say, "I'm gonna take you to heaven." And I used to be like, "What?" I wasn't fully conscious all the way. So when he used to say, it, I used to be like, "I used to be like, what?" Like what? I used to be like, "What is he talking?" You know, like you know, you look at a message, you be like, "What do you mean by that?" Like what? And then I'm like, "Like we be going to heaven?" Like you know, like after a while, I'm like, "Oh shit!" Like I put two and two, like. Heavenly, godly, that love. Yes, I take him to heaven. We be going to motherfucking heaven, guys. You can't go to heaven with everybody 
anybody else and everybody else, only your twin flame. Okay, that freaking love you feel was intense. That love is fucking real. You don't want anything else. I don't business. Okay? So, you know, so I had to um, evaluate, you know, our relationship, our situation, analyze it some more, and say, you know, this shit is real. All right? So, anyway, we stopped talking. Um, we fell out. Before he told me he loved me, okay, and I told him, oh, um, you perfect for me, all this shit, we had stopped talking. We wasn't talking because I found out that he was in a karmic relationship. He finally, you know, he finally told me he was in a karmic relationship. And I always knew, though, us females, our intuition, we always know. We just don't have that confirmation yet, okay? So I really knew something was wrong. I've been asking what's going on, what's, what's going on, because something not right. All right, he finally told me. So that's, I went off. I went motherfucking off like taste many and motherfucking devil. And I, I don't want to go back there again. <laughs> I don't like it when I get like that. But I was spazzing. I was going bananas, going texting craziness, calling cursing out. Like, I wish motherfucking acting like that crazy motherfucking Chucky Gemini. Okay, and I and I said a lot of shit to him, cause I was mad. All right, I said a lot. Of, I said a lot of real shit, and I said some fucked up shit, just because I was mad and I wanted him to hurt. Okay, but I didn't mean none of that. After a while, I'm like, damn, that's fucked up. That's my twin. You understand? Because I feel like, I feel like you know he he hurt me, so I wanted him to hurt back. Okay, I. I wanted him to feel how I felt. I wanted him to feel my pain. I said, I can't, you know, I'm not, you know, what can I do to get, let me, let me, because I know my mouth is, okay, I know my mouth is lethal. I know my tongue is like a sword. I know that. So that's why I did what I did, because I knew I was going to hurt him. But in the midst of it all, since we connected, I hurt myself. In the midst of it all, I hurt myself because we connected. That is my, that is me. He is, you know, he is me. I am him. We are connected. We have, all right, that spiritual bond. And, you know, and I told him once I realized, like, I felt bad and I felt wrong. I had to tell him. I had to apologize. I had to. I had to apologize because I, it was not right. Like, I felt bad. And when you curse somebody, all they do you wrong. You don't fucking feel bad. You like good for them. Like I really felt bad. Like oh, I can't do this. This is my fucking other half. Like, you know. So I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> what I said, you know. Like I was angry. I was upset. Ray, Ray, Ray. I explained to him why I did what I did. Why I said what I said. Okay. So I think I sent him videos. I sent him, you know, the iPhone or the the the, the message. The day you talk and you speak, I listen up. It's about motherfucking 20 of them. <laughs> He's the only guy I can just be myself with. Like, even when I'm being crazy, I can just be my fucking self. You know, being normal, being regular. Like, I'm not afraid to, like, show him more than what. You understand? Because I, uh, and that's crazy because I never did that with no other guy. All right. Probably my daughter, father, but not even, not even close. Not even like that. Okay. So, anyway, um, because the love is different. The love is different. All right? All right, Brooklyn. Come on, my cat. She want to be in a video, guys. She want to be in a video. All right, bye. Okay? Cats are um, spiritual um, animals. They protect your house from evil forces, evil spirits, bad energy. All right, it's good to have a cat in your home. Brooklyn, she was a human in our last lifetime, I think. All right, she's bad. All right, so anyway, I had to, you know, I had to know these things so I can get it right. So I can get it right. All right? So um, 
you know, once he told me he was in a karmic situation, I went off spaz and then, you know, way, way, way. It took like a couple of weeks for me to realize like, yo, that's not right what you did. It's not right what the fuck he did either, but what you did is not right. Well, you did. You should have just, you should have just fell back. No, I couldn't just go out without a fight. All right? I couldn't just fall back. I had to fucking get it popping. <laughs> All right? But anyway, I came to the clue and I was not, it was not right what I did. I apologize to him. And then after a while, you know, I think he probably was watching my videos because I sent him some conscious videos, some knowledgeable videos, just being, I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking, made video talking to him the same way. All right? Show him that other side of me that I'm not just all what you see. I'm more than what you, I'm way more than what you just see. Okay, or what I have shown you. I'm way more than that. All right? So, uh, I think, after, you know, he been watching those, listening to me, listening to those. And um, and that's when, when I send that, you know, when I send that text about, you know, you're not perfect, but you're perfect for me, and I love you, have a good night, you know. He responded, not as fast as I would like him to, but he responded the next fucking day. And he said what the fuck he said. Because that's how he felt. All right? So, you know, that's the, the thing is real. It was all written. All right? It was it was, it was was already already written for us. It's, I told him that, too. It was written in the stars for us. Okay? Go, Brooklyn! I'm sorry, guys. All right? It was already written in the stars for us. He just have to, okay? He have to come together with me so we could get it right. All right, guys, so I'm going to make probably, like, our next video for tonight, one more, explain to you about this journey. But I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to quit. I want you to have faith and trust. That's what he told me, too, when I popped up at his crib. <laughs> I said, what are we going to do from here? He said, we got to have faith and trust. And it's so funny. It's so funny how everything is everything. Because I was listening to this Twin Flame message the other day and they said the same thing to me all right they said the same thing to me you need to have faith and trust and i just started smiling to myself like my fucking twin flame said that and are y'all motherfucking talking and shove shit you know my twin flame because listen up you need to tell him i should get it together <laughs> Like, what the fuck? How the fuck she know what the fuck he said? So I have faith and trust. That's what the fuck he said. All right? So everything is everything. You just got to be aware. You got to, you got to, you got to fucking know what I want. All right? You got to, whoo. If you, when you get the signs and synchronicities from your ancestors and your spirit guide, you have to say thank you. I always tell them thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I tell them thank you so they, you know, they bring me some more knowledge. Let them know I appreciate them. I always thank them. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so um, we on this journey, baby. It's no giving up. It's no going back. It's no turning back. It's no cutting no cords. We we in it to win it. We are in this to win this, all right? I'm going to make a next video talking about the Twin Flame journey and the signs and synchronicities, okay? And then um, that's going to be that for tonight. I love y'all so much. Thank you for tuning in. Um, thank you for being a part of this journey. We are fighters. We are warriors. We are goddesses. And we cannot give up upon our king. Because we signed up for this. Okay? Even though I know it's all like, I really did. I signed up for this shit. This shit is too hard. I, sh I did? Yes, because you're a motherfucking strong warrior. Yes, you did. I did. Yes, I did. I signed up for this. He signed up for this too. All right, so stay with me, guys. I love y'all. Peace, love, and unity. And I'm going to see you up on my next video.